Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see today, we will be unboxing the Marvel Champions the Card Game Rise of the Red Skull expansion. Now, really looking forward to this expansion since it was announced. So we got Crossbones, Absorbing Man, Taskmaster, Arnim Zola, and Red Skull. And also, of course, Spider-Woman and Hawkeye as heroes, as they're just the help. Uh, here we have a giant-sized, giant-sized, giant-sized 256-card expansion pits you and your friends against the villainous Red Skull, the forces of Hydra, and a host of cold-blooded mercenaries working in their service. The Rise of the Red Skull features five all-new, all-different, interconnected scenarios that weave a tale of action and adventure that will challenge even the hardiest of heroes. Will you survive the gauntlet? Stand tall and resist Rise of the Red Skull. Okay, and you got your scan. And you just want to scan away. Now, uh, once again, we have the game Genic, as there are no more Fantasy Flight card sleeves. So let's open this up and see what this giant, giant, the box is smaller than the core box, size expansion gives us. Ah, love that shrink wrap. There we go. That's enough of that. All right, sorry about that, folks. I had uh, line guys out there with their blowers, so I had to stop the video and restart. So anyway, let's open this up. Got the shrink wrap off. We'll see what's in this giant expansion. All right, we got a rule book. And inside, we got our new keywords, the campaign mode, everything that he just... And some comic. We got some comic in here. We got scenario one. We got some more comic. Scenario two. All right, looks like we got a whole interesting comic to read in here. Nice artwork. Plus all these scenarios, all the information about that. We have 18 pages, so half of that, nine pages of, of, of information, and looks like a nine page comic. And we have our useless piece of whatever. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our giant expansion it takes up about a quarter of the box so 256 cards and a lot of air that just escaped from china and we have whatever that is first off i gotta say i'm really disappointed i was expecting a plastic insert at least i would have been happy to pay the extra two bucks to get a plastic insert i mean i do you know, I like keeping stuff in the boxes because I like the artwork on it and everything. But come on, guys. Really? I mean, it, the same crap as Legendary with the, with the boxes. And then nothing. You managed to come up with a great solution for Arkham Horror with the return to boxes. You know, do something besides, besides this. I mean, it's very, very disappointing. Anyway, beyond that, let's see what we got here. We got cards, 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 cards. So let's take a look at Hawkeye first. All right. All right, Hawkeye, he's uh, one fort, two attack, one defense, quick draw action, exhaust Hawkeye, and ready Hawkeye's bow. Okay, Hawkeye's Bow, zero cost upgrade with Wild. Restricted, max two restricted cards per player. Your hero gains plus one attack, and each of your arrow attacks gains ranged. Ranged attacks ignore retaliate. Okay, Hawkeye's Quiver, one cost upgrade with a Mental. You may play arrow events attached to this card as if they were in your hand. Hero action, exhaust Hawkeye's Quiver. Search the top five cards of your deck for an arrow event and attach it face up to this card. And we have a new Mockingbird, Bobby. Three cost ally, two thwart, two attack, three hit points. Avengers Shield, interrupt. When the villain initiates an attack against you, spend one resource of any type and return Mockingbird to your hand. Prevent all damage from that attack. That's got a wild on it. We got Sonic Arrow, two cost event. It's a mental. Hero action, exhaust Hawkeye's bow, confuse an enemy and deal three damage to it, five damage instead if it is already confused. Very nice. 
Nice and nice couple of those. Explosive arrow, one cost event with a physical. Hero action, exhaust Hawkeye's bow and choose a player. Deal three damage to the villain and each minion engage with that player. That's nice. That's a good help, helpful card. Electric arrow, two cost event. There was a couple of those. Uh, electric arrow, two cost event. It's got an energy. Hero action, exhaust Hawkeye's bow, stun an enemy and deal three damage to it. Five damage instead if it is already stunned. Okay. Cable arrow, one cost event. It has a physical. Hero action, thwart, exhaust Hawkeye's bow, remove three threat from a scheme, ignoring any crisis icons in play. Now that is really helpful. I like that card. Very cool. Vibranium arrow, two cost event. It's got an energy. Hero action, exhaust Hawkeye's bow, deals six damage to an enemy. This attack gains piercing. Discard any tough status cards from the target before dealing damage, which is interesting. So obviously they're future proofing here because uh, characters are only allowed one status card. Expert Marksman, it's a one cost upgrade. It's got a wild uh, resource, exhaust Expert Marksman, generate a wild resource for an arrow event. All right, now we have Hawkeye Kate Bishop. This is a two cost ally, one fort to attack. It's got two hit points as an Avenger. Action, exhaust this ally and discard one card from your hand. Deal X damage to an enemy where X is the number of printed resources on that card. And she has a physical at the bottom there. We got Black Knight, Dane Whitman, three cost ally, one thwart to attack. Three health, hit points, whatever you want to call them. Got a physical. Avenger, Black Knight's basic attack gains piercing. Discard any tough status cards from the target before dealing damage. And we have Goliath, four cost ally, two thwart, one attack, four health, getting a mental action. Goliath gets plus four attack until the end of the phase. At the end of the phase, discard Goliath. All right, he's kind of like Nick Fury with that. He's got to be returned at the end. U.S. Agent John Walker, three cost ally, one thwart, one attack, five health. He's got a mental. Retaliate one after this character is attacked. Deal one damage to the attacking character. All right, Sky Cycle, one cost upgrade. Vehicle attached to an Avenger ally, max one per ally. Attached ally gains aerial. Action, exhaust sun cycle, ready attached ally. And it's got an energy. Got three of those. We have team training, two cost support. Condition, play under any player's control, max one per player. Each ally you control gets plus one hit points. And it's got a physical. Three of those. We're ready for action, one cost event. Tactic, hero action, give an ally you control a tough status card. And it has a mental. Get three of those. Lead from the front, we've already seen before, two cost event. Hero action, choose a player. Each character that player controls gets plus one thwart and plus one attack until the end of the phase. Two of those. Okay, power leadership, we've, we've seen all these. I don't think I really have to go over these. War machine, there we go. James Rhodes, he's got a four cost ally, two thwart, two attack. Toughness, this character enters play with a tough status card and War Machine's basic attack gains ranged. Ranged attacks ignore retaliate. Avengers Tower, we've seen before. I think there's only one of them so far in the set, two cost support. Each of your allies has the Avenger trait, increase your ally element by one. Action, exhaust Avengers Tower, reduce the cost of the next Avenger ally played this phase by one. Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Here we go. Zero cost event. Action. Exhaust an Avenger character you control. Ready another Avenger character you control. And that one has an energy. You have to bring up that. Of course, you know, we've seen that. It's got the physical and War Machine also has, a, I mean, sorry, mental. War Machine and the Avengers Tower both have a mental. A couple of those. Three of those. All right. Energy we've seen gives you two. Strength gives you two. Genius gives you two. And now here is... That guy's bad cards. He has Obligation, Criminal Past. Give to Clint Barton player. You may flip the Alter Ego form, choose, exhaust Clint Barton, remove this card from the game, or discard Hawkeye's bow from play and discard this Obligation. And it has a two boost on there. Okay, so we have Crossfire. It has our baddie, Minion, one uh, scheme to attack. Mercenary, four health. Quick Strike, Crossfire's attack gains piercing. 
Boost, if this boost resolves during an attack, the attack gains piercing. And we got there's the star. Well, I'll just kind of go, not go over those because we, you know, yeah, a little bit of surprises there and there. I can't go over everything. Sniper shot, treachery. When revealed, alter ego plays three threat on the main scheme. When revealed hero, deal three damage to your hero. And I got a couple of those. All right, now let's go over a spider woman. I like to keep you guys on your toes. Sometimes I'll do spoilers. Sometimes I won't do spoilers. And I know, you hate me for it. Double thumbs down. Spider Woman doesn't want to come out. Come on, Spider Woman. All right. Okay, here she is. She got uh, one thwart, one attack, one defense. She has 11 hit points, a hand size of 5. I'm sorry, and I should have even said that. Didn't even mention that. Boy, what a rotten person I am. Lousy video. Double thumbs down. Triple thumbs down. Hawkeye has a hand size of 5 and 9 hit points. All right, Avengers Spy, Superhuman Agility Interrupt. When you play an aspect card, Spider Woman gains plus 1 thwart, plus 1 attack, and plus 1 defense until the end of the round. Remember, once per round for each aspect. Okay, Captain Marvel as an ally... Got a four cost ally, two thwart, two attack, three health, of the wild. Response after Captain Marvel uses a basic power, draw one card. We have finesse, two cost upgrade, condition, hero resource, exhaust finesse, and generate a wild resource with an aspect card. It's got a mental, two of those. Jessica Drew's apartment, one cost support, location, alter ego action, exhaust Jessica Drew, Drew's apartment. Search the top five cards of your deck for an aspect card, add it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. It comes with a physical. Venom Blast, two cost event. Attack, superpower, hero action, deal five damage to an enemy. This card is both a Spider Woman card and an aggression card. Okay, I like that. And that's got a energy. A couple of those. Pheromones, two cost event. Superpower, Hero Action, Stun and Confuse an Enemy. This card is both a Spider-Woman card and a Leadership card. Wow, very cool. And another and a physical on that one. I kind of like that. Contamin, uh, contaminant, Immunity, 2 cost event, Superpower. Heal 3 damage from Spider-Woman and give her a tough status card. This card, again, is both a Spider-Woman card and a Protection card. And it has an energy. Yeah, Inconspicuous, 1 cost event. Hero action, thwart, remove a total of three threat from among the schemes in play. This card is both a Spider Woman card and a Justice card. It also has an energy. Self propelled, superpower, hero action, ready Spider Woman. She gains aerial until the end of the round. One cost event with a uh, mental. With three of those. Spider Girl, Anya, two cost ally, one thwart to attack. That's a two health Avenger response after you play Spider Girl from your hand, stun and confuse a minion. And she has an energy. All right, combat training we've seen before. Attack team we've seen before. Press the advantage. One cost event. Hero action, deal two damage to an enemy. If that enemy is stunned or confused, draw one card. Three of those. Piercing strike, two cost event. Attack, hero action, deal three damage to an enemy. This attack gains piercing. Discard any tough status cards from the target before dealing damage. Spider-Man as an ally, five cost. Two thwart, two attack, four health, Avenger, response. After you play Spider-Man from your hand, remove three threat from a side scheme. And he has a mental. Heroic intuition, we've seen this before. Skilled Investigator. Play under any player's control. Max one per player. Hero response. After a side scheme is defeated, exhaust Skilled Investigator and draw one card. Three of those. Interrogation room we've seen before. Clear the area. It's a one cost event. Thwart. Hero action. Remove two threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat on a scheme, draw one card. And we got our strength, our energy, our genius, 
And then here's her obligation. Give Jessica Drew's player uncertain loyalties. And of course, you can exhaust Jessica Drew, remove uncertain loyalties from the game, or place three threat on the main scheme and discard this obligation. Yeah. And it has the two boost. The Viper. There is the baddie. Minion, two scheme, two attack, five health, elite Hydra. While the Viper is engaged with you, your hand size is reduced by one. Spider Woman's Nemesis Minion with a three boost on her. Okay, there's her. We got uh, Hydra regular, minion, one scheme, one attack. Two health, Hydra, insight one. When this card is revealed, place one threat on the main scheme with a double boost. Got two of those. And last, Hail Hydra, treachery. When revealed, each Hydra minion engaged with a hero attacks that hero. Each player who was not attacked this way searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it in play, engaged with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. Well, that's not nice. All right, I want to see, take a look at Spider Woman's flip here. There she is, a uh, three recovery, alter ego, double agent, choose two aspects instead of one during the deck building. You must include an equal number of cards from those aspects in your deck. Action, look at the top card of any deck, well, once per round. Very cool, and I do the flip of Hawkeye as well, Clint Barton. Three recovery, alter ego, choose a weapon, action, spend one resource of any type, search your deck, and discard pile for Hawkeye's bow, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's open up this crossbones. Let's see what we got. All right, we got crossbones here. Come on. There we go. There's a villain. This is his uh, stage one. So one scheme, one attack. When Crossbones has a weapon attachment, his attack gains piercing, discard tough status card from the targets before dealing damage. All right, and he has uh, 12 hit points per player here. His stage two, two scheme, two attack. While Crossbones has a weapon attachment, he gains piercing. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Crossbones Machine Gun and attach it to Crossbones. Shuffle the encounter deck. Stage three, super. Two scheme, three attack. Again with the piercing and reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. Here's Crossbones Machine Gun. Attachment. Attached to Crossbone uses two ammo counters. Force Interrupt. When Crossbone attacks you, remove one ammo counter from this card and discard the top card of the encounter deck. Take indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons on the discarded cards. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I got three boosts over here on that one. All right, Crossbones Armor. Attached to Crossbones. It's got one scheme. It adds one scheme and one attack. Force Interrupt. When Crossbones will take any amount of damage, place it here instead. If there is five or more damage here, discard Crossbones Armor. Woo! And we have three boost. Hydra Bomber, minion, one scheme, one attack. When revealed, choose to either take two damage or place one threat on the main scheme. And he's got two health with a single boost. Got two of those, full auto, treachery. When revealed, auto, alter ego, surge. When revealed, discard X cards from the top of the encounter deck. Where X is crossbones attack, take one indirect damage for each boost icon discarded this way. And this one gives you a double boost. Two of those, hard as nails. Treachery, when revealed, give the villain a tough status card. If you cannot, heal three damage from it instead. Okay. Boost, give the villain a tough status card. If you cannot, heal three damage from it instead. Okay, same thing. So we get a single boost. Thing. Okay, hard as nails two times. Raid the armory. So treachery, incite one. When this card is revealed, plus one threat on the main scheme. When revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until weapon attachment is discarded and reveal that card. All right, side schemes we're not going to go through. We got the laser rifle attachment, experimental weapon attached to the villain, force interrupt. When the attacked villain attacks, the attack gains ranged. Hero action, spend an, an energy and a physical resource and discard this card. And this gives a plus one attack. Okay, we got here is energy shield. 
another experimental weapon attached to the villain. Attached villain gains one retaliate. Spend one energy and one mental resource and discard this card. It's got double boost. Another one, power gauntlets. Attached to the villain. Forced response after the attached villain attacks and damages you, discard one card from your hand. And you need to spend a mental and a physical resource to discard. Double boost. Exosuits, because you're plus one scheme, plus one attack, attached to villain. And then you have to spend all, you have to spend the, the uh, energy, the physical, and the mental resource to discard this card. And it's got a double boost. Put this back in here. Absorbing Man is a stage one, one scheme to attack. Brute Absorbing Man gains the trait of each environment in play. He's got 14 hit points per. And one. 15 hit points per on his two, two and two. Absorbing Man gains the trait of each environment in play. When revealed, if super absorbing power is in play, deal one encounter card to each player. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard power for absorbing power and reveal it. Shuffle the encounter deck if it was searched this way. The super, Absorbing Man three. Got two scheme, three attack, 16 hit points per player. Absorbing Man gains the trait of each environment in play. Force response after Absorbing Man activates against you. If he has ice or stone trait, place one threat on the main scheme. If he has metal or wood trait, take one indirect damage. I had that scheme there. And we go with the environments, dense, forest, surge, wood. Force response after Absorbing Man makes the undefeated attack against you. Take one indirect damage, two indirect damage instead if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. Boost, put this card into play. Here we go, snowy hillside, environment, surge, ice, forced response. After Absorbing Man makes an undefended attack against you, place one threat on the main scheme, two threat instead if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. Boost, put this card into play. Rocky outcrop. Another environment, Surge, Stone, Force Response. After Absorbing Man makes an undefended attack against you, heal one damage from him. Two damage instead if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme. And Boost put this card into play. Abandoned Facility, Environment, Metal, Surge, Force Response. After Absorbing Man makes an undefended attack against you, discard one resource icon from your hand. Two resource icons instead if there are five or more delay counters on the scheme. And then the Boost, of course, put this card into play. Ball and chain, attachment, plus one, plus one, scheme and attack. Attached to Absorbing Man, hero action, spend a physical resource, shuffle this card into the encounter deck. And boost is reveal this card. Stall tactics, treachery. When revealed, place one threat on the main scheme for every two delay counters on the main scheme. If there, are, if there was, if no threat was placed this way, this card gains surge. The boost is, if there are five or more delay counters on the main scheme, take one indirect damage. Swinging Stone, Treachery, Revealed, Alter Ego, Absorbing Man Schemes. If Absorbing Man has the Stone trait, he gets plus one scheme for this activation. When Revealed Hero, Absorbing Man attacks you. If Absorbing Man has Stone trait, he gains plus one attack for this activation, and we got a boost on there. Steel Kick, Treachery, when Revealed. Alter Ego, place two threat on the main scheme. Three threat instead if Absorbing Man has the metal trait. When revealed hero, take three indirect damage. Four indirect damage instead if Absorbing Man has the metal trait. Piercing Thorns, Treachery. When revealed, discard one card at random from your hand. If Absorbing Man has the wood trait, discard one card you control. The boost is if Absorbing Man has the stone or wood trait, you are stunned. These are really, you know, this is going to be fun to play against since he just absorbs everything. Omnimorph Duplication. Check it out. I really like that. Treachery. When revealed, if Absorbing Man has the Ice trait, exhaust your identity. The Metal trait, give Absorbing Man a tough status card and heal one damage from him. The Stone trait, give Absorbing Man one face down boost card. The Wood trait, discard one card at random from your hand. Okay, Icy Grip. When revealed, you are stunned. If Absorbing Man has the Ice trait, take two indirect damage. Boost, if Absorbing Man has the Ice or Metal trait, give him a tough status card. And we got uh, three boosts and, of course, the star. And we got some side schemes we're not going to go through. 
All right, let's see who is next here. We got the Taskmaster. Got uh, this is Taskmaster Taskmaster One. One scheme to attack. Force response. After a player changes to hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. And you got 13 per player health. Taskmaster 2, two scheme to attack. When revealed, deal each player an encounter card. Force response after a player changes to hero form. They discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. And here he has 16 health per player. Okay, Taskmaster 3, 3 Scheme, 3 Attack. When revealed, deal each player an encounter card. Force response, after a player changes to hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. And here he has 17 per player. Okay, we got Moon Knight, Ally, Mark Spector, to thwart, to attack. So 3 health. Captive, Hero for Hire, response after you play Moon Knight from your hand, spend a wild resource and draw two cards. Shang-Chi, zero cost ally, to thwart, to attack. Captive, Hero for Hire, response after you play Shang-Chi from your hand, spend a energy resource and stun that enemy. He has a three health. White Tiger, zero cost ally, three thwart, one attack. He's got three health. Captive Hero for Hire, response after you play White Tiger from your hand, spend a mental resource, remove three threat from the scheme. And then we have Electra. It says zero cost ally, one thwart, three attack, captive hero for hire, three health. She has a wild response after you play Electra from your hand, spend one physical resource, deal three damage to an enemy. We got our Hydra Hunter minion, two scheme, two attack. Three health. Hydra, the star is Hydra Hunter gains piercing and ranged. Another star boost. If you are in hero form, take one damage. Otherwise, place one threat on the main scheme. Two of those. We have Taskmaster Sword. Attachment. Attach your Taskmaster. Taskmaster attack gains piercing. Exhaust your hero and spend a, a mental or a physical resource and discard this card. Taskmaster Shield. Attached to Taskmaster, Taskmaster gains Retaliate 1, and then you get Exhaust for a Mental or a Physical, again, uh, to discard. Photographic Reflexes. So, you know, everything everybody else does. Force Interrupt, attached to Taskmaster. When a player attacks Taskmaster, prevent all damage that would be dealt to Taskmaster and deal an equal amount of damage to the player's identity instead. Then discard Photographic Reflexes, max once per attack. Of those we have mimicry treachery when reveal alter ego discard the top five cards of your deck if a thwart card was discarded this way taskmaster schemes uh, when hero when revealed hero discard the top five cards of your deck if attack card was discarded this way taskmaster attacks you haunted by hydra treachery incite one when this card is revealed plus one threat on the main scheme when revealed, each player in hero form takes one damage and discards one card at random from their hand. We got the side schemes here, and that's about it on Tasky. All right, next we have Zola, Zillin. This is the stage one. He's got a two scheme, one attack. Android Hydra, the ugly mother. He's got retaliate one here at 12 hit points per player. Hit points health, sorry. Like I said, d and stuck in my head. We got Zola Stage 2 with a two scheme to attack. Android Hydra Retaliate 1. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the test subject's side scheme and reveal it. And this is hit 14 uh, hit points. Yeah, this is hit points. What do you know? 14 hit points per player. Uh, is Zola Stage 3. Villain scheme, three scheme to attack. Retaliate 1, Android Hydra. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a minion and reveals it. Shuffle the encounter deck. And he's got 16 hit points per player. I don't want to show off his side schemes, but here we go with uh, Ultimate Bio Servant. Uh, one scheme, one attack minion. 
Hydra Mutant, Toughness, Ultimate Bio Servant gets one attack for each attachment on it. For Boost, give the villain a tough status card. That uh, three, four of those. Zola's Mutant, Minion, one scheme, one attack. He's got five hit points, Hydra Mutant. One revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until attack attachment is discarded. Attach that card to Zola's Mutant. The boost is Shuffle Zola's Mutant into the encounter deck. Got three of those. Yeah, the bio's got four hit points. Zola's got five. Now the Berserker, oh, he only has three. Berserker Mutant, zero scheme to attack. Uh, Mutant Hydra, quick strike. And then, uh, of course, these are all new keywords. We'll have to check it out in the rules. It's got a boost. Place one test counter on the main scheme for each test counter on the main scheme. Zola gets plus one scheme and plus one attack for this activation. All right, then we have defensive programming. Ew. That is one ugly mother. Attached to the minion with the most remaining hit points without another copy of defensive programming attached. If you cannot, this card gains surge. Attached minion gets two hit points and gains guard. We have three of those. And we got uh, pain inhibitors. Oof, that isn't, ow. Attached to menu with the most remaining hit points without another copy of pain inhibitors attached. If you cannot, this card gains surge. Attached to menu gets plus two hit points and gains one retaliate. Neurological implants, given a plus two scheme and a plus two attack. That's a tech attached to the minion with the most remaining hit points without another copy of neurological implants attached. If you cannot, this card gains surge. Attached minion gets plus two hit points and it's got a single boost. We got Mind Ray, Treachery. Ah! When revealed, Alter Ego, Zola Schemes, you are confused. When revealed, Hero, Zola Attacks, you are stunned. We got two boost on there. We got three of those. Technological Enhancements, Treachery, and Sight 1. When revealed, place one test counter on the main scheme. Boost, place one test counter on the main scheme. And it's got a single boost on there. And of course, we got the side schemes. We won't go over those. Last but not least, let's crack open old Red Skull himself and see what we got ourselves. That's the matter. Okay. We got Red Skull Villain. This is stage one. Got two schemes, zero attack. Red Skull gets plus one attack for each side scheme in play. Oof. It's got 12 hit points per here. Red Skull Stage 2, 3 Scheme 1 Attack with the Asterisk Star. Red Skull gets plus 1 attack for each side scheme of play, and when revealed, deal each player an encounter card. We got 16 hit points per player here. Red Skull Stage 3, Villain Scheme 3, Attack 2. Red Skull gets plus 1 attack for each side scheme in play by the Star Asterisk there, and when revealed, deal each player an encounter card. He has 20 hit points per player here. Ouch! All right, let me get rid of these. All right, the first minion is the Sleeper. One scheme, three attack. Got five hit points per player. Elite Hydra Robot, guard, retaliate, one, toughness. When revealed, Sleeper engages the first player. When defeated, remove the Sleeper from the game. Hydro Exo Soldier, minion, two scheme, two attack. Toughness, got five hit points. The boost, give a villain a tough status card and another boost card. Ouch. Three of those guys. All right, Red Skull's Luger. Gives you plus one scheme, plus one attack with asterisk. Nice. Attached to Red Skull. So Red Skull's attack gains piercing and range. Heroes must spend in energy, mental, and physical resources to discard this card. Boost, attached to Red Skull. Red Skull's right hook. Okay. Attached to Red Skull. Red Skull gains Retaliate 1. Hero actions spend an energy, a mental, and a physical resources. Discard this card. And we got three boost on there. Two of those. Master Strategist. We got, uh, both of them have a scheme and attack. Both have a star asterisk. That is really cool. I like that art. Attached to Red Skull. 
Force Interrupt. When Red Skull activates, give him an additional boost card for each side scheme in play. Ooh, ouch. Then discard this card. Maximum once per activation. I certainly hope so. Two boost on that one. Two of those. Twisted Reality. Insight 1, attached to a side scheme. Force Response. When attached, a, when attached side scheme is defeated, deal the first player any counter card. Ew. That's got two boost on there. Bitter Rival. Treachery. When revealed, exhaust a character you control for each side scheme in play. Boost. Exhaust a character you control. Man, these cards are nasty. Spreading Lies. Treachery. When revealed, place two threat on each scheme in play. Boost. Give Red Skull a tough status card. We got one. Wants a star and a boost on that bad boy there. Okay, got two of those. Infinite Power. Treachery there. When reveal, Alter Ego. Give Red Skull a tough status card. Red Skull Schemes. Hero. Give Red Skull a tough status card. Red Skull attacks you and it's got a double boost on there. Side Scheme, Side Scheme, Side Scheme, Side Scheme, Side Scheme. Hydra Flame Soldier. One Scheme, one attack with an asterisk. Four hit points. Asterisk Force Response. After Hydra Flame Soldier makes an undefended attack against you, discard a support you control. Boost, if this card resolves during an undefended attack, discard a support you control. So this is the uh, regular star effect. Three of those. Hydra Jet Trooper, zero scheme, two attack, three hit points, quick strike. And the boost is, if you are in hero form, the villain attacks you after this activation. Do not deal any boost cards for that attack. Tail Hydra, treachery. Ugh. When revealed, each Hydra minion engaged with a hero makes an attack against that hero. <clears throat> Each player who was not attacked this way searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion. Puts it in play, engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck. And that gives you two boost on there. Okay, combat knife, attachment, weapon. Got plus one attack on that. Got a single boost at the bottom. Attached villain's attack gains piercing. Spend a mental and a physical and resources and discard this card. Hydra's Sidearm, plus one attack, weapon. Force Interrupt, when attached villain attacks, the attack gains ranged. And again, I spend a mental and a physical resource to discard this card and a double boost. Weapons Master, Treachery. When revealed, Alter Ego, the villain schemes. If they have a weapon attachment, this card gains Surge. When revealed, Hero, the villain attacks you. If they have a weapon attachment, this card gains Surge. And it's got a single boost. Concussion Grenade, when revealed. Alter Ego, you are confused. Place one threat on the main scheme. Two threat instead if you are already confused. When revealed, Hero, you are stunned. Deal one damage to your hero. Two damage instead if you are already stunned. We got a Hydra Regular, Minion, one scheme, one attack. Two attack, sorry. Two hit points. Hydra in sight one. When this card is revealed, place one threat on the main scheme. And it's got a double boost. One, two... Two of those, Hydra Soldier, Minion, one scheme to attack, four hit points. Guard, while this minion is engaged with you, you cannot attack the villain. When defeated, deal an engaged player any counter card. Yeah, you get another one of these guys. Well, I'm going boost on you. Okay, three of those, and then we have some side scheme. We have an upgrades, adrenal stims, set up. Hero action, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. Ready your hero and heal five damage from them. And it's got a wild. Tactical scanner, upgrade, zero cost, set up. Discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. Draw five cards with a wild. This is a all Hydra campaign. Zero cost upgrade, emergency teleporter. Set up, hero action, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. Search your deck and discard pile for an ally and put it into play and give it a tough status card. We got laser cannon. Upgrade, that's a big mama. Set up, hero action, discard this card and remove it from the campaign log. Deal five damage to the villain and each enemy engage with you. That's a nice one. It's got a wild. And we have... And we have improved thwart upgrade. Love of Ms. Marvel. Permanent setup, you get plus two hit points. Your hero gets plus one fort. Response, after you defeat a side scheme, exhaust this card, draw one card. We have improved attack upgrade. 
Condition, permanent setup, you get plus one hit point. Hero gets plus one attack. Hero resource, after you defeat a minion, exhaust this card, draw one card. Now I have to read and see uh, to see if you can only use these with a Hydra campaign. It might be. Okay, improved defense upgrade. Condition, permanent setup, you get three plus three hit points, and your hero gets plus one defense. Hero response, after you defend against an attack, exhaust this card, draw one card. Last, we have improved recovery upgrade. I really love the art, boy. That's it. Yeah, 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 I love that art. Permanent setup, you get plus four hit points. Your alter ego gets plus one recovery. Response, when you use your recovery, exhaust this card, draw one card. All right, now last, we have from the campaign set here. All kinds of, we have this four sets of these on here, and these are obligations. Now, there's four of each card, and I'll show them to you. We got uh, Zola's Algorithm, Obligation, and this card gains Acceleration, Alter Ego Action, Exhaust Your Alter Ego and Spend a, a uh, Mental Resource to Discard This Card. We have Medical Emergency, Obligation, Force Response at the end of your turn, take one damage if you are in hero form. Alter Ego Action, discard the top five cards of your deck and spend a physical resource to discard this card. Martial Law, Obligation, your hand size is reduced by one. Alter Ego Action, deal yourself an encounter card and spend a energy resource, discard this card. Last, Anti-Hero Propaganda. Your hero gets minus one thwart, minus one attack, and minus one defense. Alter ego action, take two damage, and spend a wild resource, discard this card. All right, so there are, like I said, this is set one, so there are four sets. And that's it. We've seen them all except for the schemes, which I'm, you know, I'm not going to show you. Still, though, final thoughts. This is going to be fun to play. I love Red Skull. I love Spider-Woman and Hawkeye. And even all the other heroes, it's going to be a real blast to play this campaign. Sadly... Really? That's a joke. You know, for Arkham Horror, like I said before, Arkham Horror is the only thing they've done anything for for um, storage in boxes. And, uh, you know, they've done the Return to sets. They've done nothing I've seen for Lord of the Rings and nothing for Legend of the Five Rings. And it just confuses me. To me, I don't know, to me that's money left on the table. Because I have to go out now and find a solution. And I'm sure there's great solutions. But I'd rather spend my money on games. I mean, I've seen some people that have done Legendary Marvel. And people that have done uh, Arkham Horror the LCG. And they get those boxes from Hobby Lobby. And they get the inserts and spend hundreds of dollars, and $100 or so or whatever on the insert. And paint them and etch them and do and they are freaking beautiful they really are go on board game geek look that stuff up on google and you'll see all kinds of amazing things that are done but for the guy like me who doesn't have time uh, to do that or the artistic talent to do that a little piece of plastic goes a long way all right that's all i got for you today guys have a great day